Hello and welcome to video 6 of our course on converting paper-based data to electronic data using AP Data. My name is Wilfred Ngwa. This video covers all you need to know on how to enter data using the AP Data Entry Client software. I indicated in the last video that you practice by completing the questions in the follow-up section of our codebook. If you did, use your database to follow up this video and practice. If not, download mine using the link in the comment section below. Before we dive into the nitty gritty of AP Data Manager, let me quickly show you how to relate data forms created within a relational database in AP Data Manager. In video 5, we looked at how to create a relational database in which we can have a parent form and one or multiple child forms. During data entry, we need our parent form to be related to the child form. In this case, our initiation form to relate to the follow-up form. At the bottom of our initiation form, we have this question. After record, go to follow-up form. We will use this question to relate both forms. To do this, we double-click on the question to open the variable properties dialog box. Because we now have a follow-up form added, notice the newly added relate tab. Click on it and then on the plus sign on the top right corner to add your relate conditions. For the relate value field, we type in one and since we have just one related form, AP Data Manager is intelligent enough to pick up this in the go to data form field. The AP Data Entry Client, otherwise referred to as Entry Client, is used to enter our AT data already defined and contained in a project created with the AP Data Manager software. Besides its utility for data entry, it can also be used to browse through or search the data once these data are entered or imported. The entry client was developed in such a way that the user or data entry person cannot change the structure or definition of a given file or database. All changes on a given file must be made in AP Data Manager. This is important in the sense that only the entry client could be installed on the computer of the data entry person, preventing them from making any modifications to the file or database. As earlier mentioned, before you can work with data in the entry client, you must first prepare this data in AP Data Manager. You can launch AP Data Entry Client either directly from the AP Data Manager by clicking the Enter tab on the Work Toolbar or simply launch the program from your desktop or start menu. Once launched from the desktop, you have this interface. Before we go into details, let's open our project by clicking on Open Project and then navigating to where we have the project stored and then clicking Open. With our project opened, let's have a look at the interface in detail. The functions of the file type are self-explanatory and we saw most of them in our previous videos. So, we can skip that. Under the Edit tab, we can set our project preferences. I personally have never made any changes as the default settings work perfectly for me. We can also use the Edit tab to set the display of the program to a default window position. Elsewhere, we can copy a record or feed to clipboard. This copy to clipboard attribute is essential especially when providing feedback to your data team. The Browse Data tab permits you to navigate through entered records. You can search a record based on the current variable, which is simply the one that has your mouse cursor. Notice that you can add other search conditions. You can also search a record based on all variables. You can also find forward or backwards or just list all records. The Go To tab is self-explanatory and you can use it to create a new record or browse through records. You can use the Help tab to access useful information such as tutorials, shortcuts, etc. Below we have the status bar which is also useful in navigating through records and showing us the record number for the record displayed. 
It is important to note that moving from one field to the other is in a left to right then down manner. This flow of entry is respected either because the entire length of a field is filled or by using one of the following keys. Arrow down, enter or tap. It is however possible to break the flow of entry although this is normally not recommended by using the mouse to click on the new field. The main reason why breaking the flow of entry is not recommended is because a field could have some attributes set such as jumps or skips that defines another flow of entry.